going to make a classic French dish, the steak au poivre. We're going to use the uh, certified Angus center cut sirloin steak. So every one of these steaks is cut from the center of the strip. There's no vein steaks. So we're going to do an au poivre. Before we get started with that, I am featuring um, kind of introducing you to my new line of sauce bases. Today we're going to be working with the classic French uh, veal demi-glaze. This is the mother of the mother sauces in any hot cuisine, high cuisine kitchen. And the reconstitution of these, these are 1.5 ounce uh, packages. They're shelf stable, which is a huge bonus. And you simply take a cup of water, bring it to a boil in your favorite sauce pot, spoon out the gloss that's inside the package, dissolve it with a wooden spoon, maybe whisk it with the whisk at the end, and then just pour it into the container and you have this. One cup of veal demi-glaze. I'm also going to have available uh, the roasted chicken demi-glaze, the uh, essence de champignon. If you go to uh, the demonstration uh, part of my website and you'll see me use both of these with the, uh, uh, with the chicken with the wild mushroom sauce, the, the pounded chicken cutlets with the wild mushroom sauce. Um, and there it is. Okay, so let's start with the steak au poivre. First, I'm going to get my pan on the heat, okay, because it's going to take a few minutes for that pan to get hot while we take the steaks out of their containment. Now remember, to thaw my food products, my preference is that you thaw them overnight in your refrigerator. But if you're in a hurry, it's not a big deal to take these products and um, float them in cold water. These steaks would be thawed 15-20 minutes. And now we're going to start with a nice extra light olive oil. Not much fat. I have some crushed black peppercorns and what I do is with the with a pan I crush them on my cutting board. You'll see it, see it in other demonstrations. And so I take whole peppercorns and I crush them. Now this dish was originally created in France at a time where there was no refrigeration. And the idea of covering the steaks in peppercorns, uh, the French used that as a way to take the edge off of the very, well, for lack of a better word, rotten meat. And uh, I per and, and if you go to France, you'll still get the steak is like completely encrusted. I, I, I really don't like that. I think it's over. I think it's peppercorn overkill. So I'm just going to go a little light. Still plenty of pepper. And if you notice, I put a little salt on first. But this is a peppercorn steak, so you want to make sure you have enough black peppercorns. And it's a, it's a, it's a dish that almost everybody enjoys. I've, 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 I know very few people that don't like a pot. Now the pan is hot. that go in there. And now we're going to season the other side. Okay, and then the crushed peppercorns. Okay. 
Now, if the steaks were a little thicker, these are uh, 10 ounce steaks, let's say they were 14, 15 ounces, I would brown them in the pan and then pop them in the oven and finish them in the oven. I don't think, they're not big enough to warrant that treatment, so we're going to cook them entirely on top of the stove, and we will use a cover. Alright, so let's see what we got going. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to flip the steak and we can you get a nice, that nice little peppercorn coming up into your nostrils. Mmm. Oh, let's see. We'll give it the old press test. They feel pretty good to me. Another minute or so. And this is a very straightforward... Um, dish, very easy to prepare, very fast. Once you have your demi-glaze done, 80% of the work is done. Okay, we're going to take the steak out and put it on a nice serving dish. Then we're going to degrease the pan. So we want to take all the fat, or most of the fat, just let it drip into a little container. Now we're going to make the sauce. Very little fanfare. Now, I'm going to pour cognac into this, into this, this is like a, a, ten, a ten dollar bottle of cognac. You want a good, you know, you want a good quality cognac. You don't need Corbassier, you don't need Remy Martin, but a decent, you know, nine dollar bottle of cognac. Always put the cognac in, away from the fire. Give it a couple of seconds, because this will flame up. Let some of the alcohol cook off from the heat. Okay, why don't we take that off so we don't burn the microwave. Did I burn it already? I think it's okay. Je sais pas. <laughs> Je pense it's okay, pas. Greg. Everything's under control. Oh, the fire is so cool. Okay, so now you're going to burn off the alcohol. It takes a few minutes. The Bowers are getting a little nervous here because they do have a beautiful home. And we don't want it destroyed during one of Chef Michael's demonstrations. So we're burning off the alcohol. Should be just about a couple more 30 seconds or so. And it should be all burned off. There we go. All right. All right. Then we add our cream. We just let that reduce a little bit before we add our demi. Everything looks good. Okay, just adding a little more peppercorn, a little more salt, adjusting the seasoning. Just a touch more salt. One of the classic, great French uh, preparations. One of my personal favorites as well. We're going to make a little extra prep. I'm making two steaks. I'm making enough sauce for about four or five. Okay, so we sautéed this, we pan seared the steak. We took the steak out of the pan. We poured off the fat. We hit it with a good, healthy shot of brandy or slash cognac. We flamed it, took it away from the fire, let it burn off, reduced it, hit it with cream, reduced it, and now we're about to add the veal demi, which uh, 
you know, it's so easy. You see the little package, 1.5 ounces, I reconstitute it. But in the kitchen, it takes three days to make this. Okay, now we're going to add the demi. Get in the habit, anytime you're taking sauce from one container, putting it in the pan, taking it out of the pan, wherever, always scrape with a rubber spatula. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, maybe just a little splash of water. Look, I happen to have some water right here. Then it add a little bit. Nice, creamy texture. I'm going to add just a little bit of butter. Just a tiny little bit. We're going to shake that in. And then that's it. And we're just going to serve it. And you have a classic steak au foie. And don't, don't forget, you can get the demi-glaze from me. You can get a lamb demi-glaze, mushroom, essence, fish stock, all hot cuisine grade. And now we'll serve it. Well, what we'll do first is take the juice the loose juice and pour it into the sauce from the steak. Oh, yes. Very nice. Steak au poivre. Bon appétit.